Thank you for joining our Reimagine 30 for the Future Awards, a program of the Greater Akron Chamber. I'm Tyron, and I am so glad that we were successfully able to make it through this week. This speaks a lot to our resilience. Now, for the past 13 years, the Greater Akron Chamber has made it a priority to recognize young professionals who have made an impact on our region through leadership and community service at the 30 for the Future Awards. This year is no different, although we may be doing it a little different. Under normal circumstances, we would all be together enjoying dinner at a formal program with those desserts. I miss those desserts. <laughs> <laughs> but this year is, is anything but normal. One thing that remains consistent every year is the support of our sponsors and the 30 for the Future Committee, who we could not do this without. Thank you to our presenting sponsors, Huntington and Wrestle, and our supporting sponsor, United Way of Summit and Medina. Today, you will hear from six of our dynamic 2020 recipients through a series of interviews at Canal Park, home of the Rubber Ducks. I want to thank the Akron Rubber Ducks for opening their home to our recipients. Today's group is only one of the five total groups that we highlighted this year. So I encourage you to check out the other groups that we have highlighted on the Greater Akron Chamber's YouTube channel. Now, as you watch the videos, you might not see masks during the interview, but rest assured, Proper social distancing was followed to ensure everyone's safety. Now, being out at the ballpark, we asked our recipients what their favorite ballpark food was. Now, while most of them said hot dogs, some with all the fixings, others with just ketchup and mustard, I have to agree with one of our recipients who varied from the others and said that nachos were her favorite. <laughs> How about you? What's your favorite? What's your favorite thing to get to eat at the ballpark? Why don't you comment in the chat section or post about it? And when you do, use hashtag 30FTF so we can all be together. Also, be sure to post any congratulatory comments in the chat today and on your favorite social media platform. This group of recipients had the honor of being interviewed by Amy Patton from Huntington and Jim Fander from the Akron Rubber Ducks. Let's get to know David, Jen, Carmen, Gia, Daria, and Kelly. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat while, I, while we watch, so. What's your favorite sport to watch? Basketball, and because I used to play basketball in high school, and I had dreams of going to the NBA one day, and those were short lived. <laughs> what is your favorite ballpark food? Beef hot dogs, for sure. Relish, tomatoes, mustard, and, uh, and more relish. What do you want people to remember about you? That I was a fair person. Uh, an honest person, and I just treated people right, no matter who they were, no matter what walk of life they were from, I treated them fair and I was always humble and a good, um, just all around good guy. What is the most unique thing you've seen on a virtual call? Literally, I was on a call with somebody and they were like eating and drinking and was like turned around as they were talking, like as if we couldn't see that they were eating and drinking. So I don't know, like with this virtual stuff is like, we see you and you just, you know, and you know that we see you, but for some reason, you just feel like we don't see you. <laughs> what is the best business advice you've ever received? I would say the customer is always right. Treat people right in your business. Customer service is a huge, like that's the, the best part of any business, ex any experience that a consumer could have is if you have great customer service. What should we do to keep good talent here in Akron? Young kids, it's like you got to find the opportunities here. It's hard for us to stay uh, because jobs outside of Akron, outside of Ohio, may be paying more. So I, I would say, like, make sure there's more opportunities for people, for, for millennials. Looking into the future, what are you most excited for? I'm excited about what we can do as a community 
Um, I mean, there's a lot of social and civil unrest, but I like the fact that we're taking the, the stand to make sure that we leave it better for the folks who are coming after us. All right, Jen, well, tell me, what's your favorite sport to watch? Basketball. I know that that's weird that we're sitting in a baseball stadium, but I would definitely say basketball, um, any level, college, college more than NBA. What makes you tick? We're going to go a little bit deeper. Akron in general, like the city itself gives me passion. Um, I'm not originally from Akron, and so being in a place that um, I have, I feel like I still have fresh eyes to, and I'm learning so much about, and both of the jobs that I have really serve the people and the community of Akron and just the city and the work I get to do every day in community and building relationships with people here and meeting people really excites me. I do a lot of community development work at the well, and we serve in a couple elementary schools here in Akron. I was an education major in college. So in addition to Akron, just education in general and like really serving and supporting schools, something that I is near and dear to my heart and ensuring that students, teachers, and families have resources available to them. All right, looking into the future, what are you most excited for? I was recently engaged this summer, so I'm very excited um, and looking forward to getting married next May. Yeah, just this whole next year of preparing and um, heading into that next season is really exciting. And starting my life with my fiance, Cody. But for Akron, I would say I'm so excited and ready for downtown to reopen. Very excited for that. So many things I'm excited about for Akron, but I think it's just one of those things that's been building up for so long, especially being a student at, on campus and seeing the trends. I've been here through the construction and like seeing what it was before and what it is now and I'm just so excited for people to be excited about Akron and to be able to utilize a downtown that's safe, inclusive, walkable, and fun. Hi, I'm Amy Patton, Regional Marketing and Communications Manager at Huntington. The reason I think YP is so important to the Akron community is they bring vibrant and new ideas to our area. They are just as important to us as we are to them. We need to support them and create these wonderful programs so that we can keep the talent in Akron and grow our city. What is your favorite sport to watch? Well, besides wanting to watch a rubber ducks game, um, always the Cavs. I mean, Cavs are my team through and through. And then I'd say, you know, the Browns and Kent State Golden Flashes. What is your favorite ballpark food? You always gotta go with the hot dog, especially when they got like, you know, dollar night. You can't beat that. I mean, a good hot dog's always best. What is your business pet peeve? Just hitting reply all. I mean, I know it's such an easy thing that people do, or, you know, just you get that generic email that just comes in from like a, a main account and then everybody hits reply all. like. I, it just it drives me up a wall to no end, and especially during this time when pretty much all communications online. Uh, it, it, it's been fun and uh, interesting to see how those email chains have gone. But I, I'd say that's that's really the only one. So, what is your favorite aspect to your job? Even though I'm kind of working behind the scenes, um, dealing with the budget, that I know and I can see the direct impact students um, are having just in those conversations with those units. And then once I get back on the campus, we'll be able to. Um, my office will be able to work with student workers again. And I just, I love working with the students. That's why I'm in higher education. Been in higher education for eight years now. So it's, it's such a big component of my career. I love helping young people, you know, get to where they want to be um, and just seeing them progress and learn and just being there to help them, so. What do you want your legacy to be? I want to help all the people around me to, you know, better their lives. Um, that's just, it's always been my mantra. Like I want to do well, but I want everybody else to do well around me you know, really just see everybody succeed and flourish. What's your greater Akron hangout? I gotta say downtown Kent. Uh, you know, you've been there the last few years. Kent, you know, went through a major reconstruction downtown. Um, love going to Fresco. Uh, that's Fresco Mexican's always my place to go. And then uh, you can get a great burger at Ray's, so. Wow, these recipients are really hitting it out of the park. Let's find out more about the remaining recipients.
All right, welcome back to Canal Park. We're in the visitor's dugout, and uh, this is Jim Fander along with Gia Bell. And tell me, what is your favorite ballpark food? It has to be hot dogs. Love hot dogs. Any favorite toppings? Everything. Put everything on my hot dog. I don't want you to leave anything out. I want onions, ketchup, mustard, relish, everything. Do you have a favorite quote of under 25 words? One of my favorite quotes, and I've said it beforehand, is that difficult roads often leads to beautiful destinations. Turn your wounds into wisdom. Tell me, what is there something that you're passionate about? What gets you out of bed in the morning? My children get me out of bed every morning um, and helping people gets me out of bed every morning. I feel like I was placed on this earth to serve and help others and make a difference in other people's lives. So that's what wakes me up every morning and gets me motivated. What sage advice can you offer young people that are just heading into the world of business? Bet on yourself and believe in yourself. Um, always be willing to get back up if you fall. Failure is a step to success. Who or what has been a surprising influence in your life? I have a lot of influences. I would say my children influence and inspire me. Just wanting to make a better life for them, as well as showing them that they can achieve and accomplish anything, inspires and influences me every day. Tell me about your children. What are their names, their ages? <laughs> I have two children. I have a 13-year-old son named Gavin Davis. He is... 13, he's six foot already and a size 14 shoe. Um, he just started his first year of football and he's doing amazing. I'm so proud of him. He's one of the best people I know. Um, I'm really proud of how I raised him. He's gonna be a, a great person when he grows up. Uh, my other son's name is Grayson. He's eight years old. He has autism. Um, I am just so proud of him. He's done so well. He had some challenges when he first was born and when he first got diagnosed with autism, but. He has accomplished so much, and I'm just grateful and proud of him. What is your favorite sport to watch? My favorite sport to watch is basketball. A genie gives you three wishes. What are they? Clear my student loan debt. Second would be to meet Beyonce, and the third would be to get rid of COVID. <laughs> Go back How to do normal. you give back to the community? Um, my sorority is Eta Phi Beta Sorority Incorporated. Um, one of our principles is service. So whenever I have an opportunity to serve my community, I really do. Um, one of my favorite activities to participate in is the gear bag check of FedEx Custom Critical. We sponsor it every year. I've had the opportunity to help coordinate the gear bag check the past several years. So too bad we missed out on it this year, but it's always been one of my favorites to do in the community. Uh, what is the best gift you've ever received? The best gift I've ever received were probably AirPods. They definitely changed my life. Who is your most influential role model or mentor? Um, it would have to be my mother. She has always been about hard work and I definitely have picked up that work ethic over the years. Looking into the future, what are you most excited for? The way people communicate, is def it's already changed with technology and with social media. Um, with COVID, I can see it changing even more. So the way we communicate just one-on-one -on -one or even how do we maintain our cultures, whether it's at the workplace or with your friends or with your family, it's gonna be different. And I think that we're on the forefront of helping to change that. And as a communications manager, that's what makes me excited, is really building in technology into communication. What is your favorite platform? for communicating? Instagram, I do love Instagram. I love pictures, I love videos, but I mostly use the stories feature. Hey folks, it's Jim Fander, General Manager, Chief Operating Officer here with the Akron Rubber Dogs. We're here on the suite level here at Canal Park and want to talk to you a little bit today about the folks in our community, our young professionals. And you know, a lot of people ask, why are young professionals so important to the community here in Akron? And you know, it, it's all part of the growth of our, of our city, really taking that next step. I think back to not that long ago where I was a young professional, I had a little bit more hair back then, but it was part of my growth and, and really helping me kind of take this next step in my career. How do the Rubber Ducks support young professionals? Well, we do a lot of different things. We have a lot of different mentor programs, our associate program where we train folks how to sell tickets right out of college and really kind of the goal is to help them step seamlessly into the business industry. And second of all, we have a lot of events for the community, whether it's a Thirsty Thursday or whether it's a, just a networking event where they can come to the ballpark, meet with other um, clients, customers, and really help grow their own personal networks. It's really all about, you know, really the young professionals helping us take that next step in our future 
and in really helping us move backward and forward. And really excited to have the young professionals involved here with the Rubber Ducks and uh, really excited to help them help us take the next step forward in the 21st century. We're back here at Canal Park, Jim Fander along with Kelly Fetter, and we're right at home plate. We're actually standing in the batter's box where the right-handers or left-handers would stand. This is really kind of cool. Yep. So here's your first question. No pressure because we're on a <laughs> baseball field, but tell me, what's your favorite sport to watch? So my favorite sport to watch is baseball. I love coming and watching the Rubber Ducks. I love going to Indians games. Um, I actually played softball when I was younger and I was a catcher, so being at home plate feels right at home, and I just love the game, love the sport. What did you want to be when you were 12? I think at that point I wanted to be a chef, which I still love to cook. Um, I wanted to go to a culinary school and become a chef and own a restaurant. Um, don't want to do that anymore, <laughs> but I still love to cook. So, How flexible do you feel that you are and has your vision of yourself changed over the past few months? I think if you asked my friends and family, they might tell you that I'm not very flexible, but I like to think that I am. Um, and I think the last few months have been really interesting. It's forced us all to kind of reevaluate who we are, what we're doing, how we're doing our work. And I think that's been a really fun challenge. So I feel like I have embraced that. Uh, back in March or April, uh, my younger sister and I, she lives in Cleveland. I live here in Akron. We bought the same cookbook and started once a week, we cook virtually together. So we pick a recipe, we go buy all the ingredients and we still do that um, as we can now. So it's been a really fun way to just spend time with each other when we couldn't be physically together. Well, tell me, why do you live or stay in Akron? I just love Akron. Um, I grew up uh, down the road in Stowe and then went to the University of Akron for school and have stayed and been here ever since. It feels like a small town, still feel like you're living in a city. All right, looking into the future, what are you most excited for? I'm just excited for when we can all be back together and spending time with each other and doing the things we love to do. Uh, back in normal ways. So that's what I'm looking forward to. Very good. That's all the questions I have. Thanks so much. Yeah, thank you. Hey, that's it. We, we made it through. What another great year of 30 for the future recipients. Obviously, every year's recipients are memorable, but I think it's safe to say that no one will ever forget the 2020 recipients. I am so happy to have been your host this week and to have been here with you. I'm glad we were able to be together apart. And now I'll pass it over to Steve. So I hope you've enjoyed getting to know our 30 for the Future recipients as much as I had. We had a great week. I want to again thank all of our sponsors, our venues, and finally you. Thank you for taking the time out of your day each day this week to spend recognizing this group of individuals. They're clearly uh, good omens for the future of our region. Now if you tuned in on the first day, you heard our host, Tyron, discuss how we made a few of his dreams come true, because that's what we're in the business of doing, of course, including becoming a 30 for the Future recipient and hosting the event. The only wish still outstanding is his hope for a million dollars. So I've, I've done a lot of research on this, Tyron, and I do have a million Ghanaian dollars for you in my office. We'll have to connect and get that to you at some point. However, I'm thinking that that may not be worth quite as much as this million dollars um, from our friendly neighborhood Monopoly uh, set. I counted it, it's clearly a million dollars. To be fair, you never told me it had to be real. You just wanted a million dollars. So there you go. You can have this. You can have the Ghanaian. We'll figure it out. Thanks again, Tyron, for your work as our host. And again, congratulations to all of our winners. Um, thanks to the mentors who got them where they are. Thanks to the folks who will give them their future opportunities. I believe our future is in great hands. Our 30 for the future this year will really help us lead greater.